www.deciblets.com Welcome to Happiness House. I wanted to do something that could help real children. Uh, my expertise as a director has been working with young performers for a lot of my career. And uh, when I read this book, Sold, uh, it, it immediately called me. Uh, it moved me profoundly. So I've always wanted to do a film that could really make change and uh, read the book, optioned it the next day, uh, called Jane Charles, uh, our you know producer who's been on this with me from almost day one. Literally, she came on like day two. Jeffrey called me after he had read the book and he said, you have to read this book, it's amazing. I, I think it would make a great film. So I read the book, I was devastated for a few days. I, at that point, which was seven years ago, I knew nothing about human trafficking. This was quite a tricky film to put together, mainly because we always knew that we wanted to create a tool for change. It was really important to us that the entire structure was set up so that we could do that in the end. The book was really our calling card for a long time because it told the story of this one girl and we felt that rather than making a documentary about the issue to tell the story and get really intimate about what this experience was like for this one girl would be very powerful it would be a large entry point to the issue it could be seen by millions Wait. Can you tell us about the, uh, the young girl who plays the lead role? So Niar Sekia does an amazing job in the lead role. She's practically in every scene of the film and she's a phenomenal actress. Uh, one of the best actors I've ever worked with actually. She went to these depths of sadness like instantly. Like she's just so gifted. From now on, sweetheart, you will do what men tell you and smile while you do it till all your debt is cleared. You have Gillian Anderson in the film as well, so can you tell us about her role and her involvement? I found out about this amazing photographer named Lisa Christine. She's really fearless and she's a phenomenal photographer and so we kind of expanded the role a little bit and Gillian was really excited about it. I just can't get her out of my head. When you raid this brothel, I want to be there. And they got together and, you know, Lisa showed her how she takes her pictures, which is, she operates very fast. She takes pictures of slaves very fast because often she has to be fast, otherwise she's going to get killed or caught in the act of taking the photos. So um, she taught this methodology to um, Jillian, and Jillian's phenomenal in the role. Hi, I'm Nirja Naik and you're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. So I play the role of Anita in the movie and she is a survivor similar to Lakshmi and um, she's been trafficked um, and she befriends Lakshmi when she gets into the brothel. She's a very fiery character, um, very strong in lots of ways. So yeah, she was an amazing character to play. I met Jeffrey at a film festival in New York and um, he told me that he was going to be making this movie sold about uh, about trafficking and um, I really wasn't aware of the issue I had no idea that it existed um, and I was shocked and horrified when I met him and when he spoke to me about it um, but then also very much moved to do something and I think he was so um, positive about the fact that he was going to make a film that was going to initiate change that I felt like I really had to be a part of it. So I actually bugged him into casting me in the movie and sending me the script. Um, so yeah, it's wonderful to be part of this project. About halfway through our location scouting during the rainy season, it had been, you know, a tough location scout. We were figuring, trying to figure out, you know, how are we going to make this film happen? Um, we had hit so many road bumps already. And we got this email from Emma Thompson that said, Darlings, 
The script is amazing. I support what you're doing. I really want to help. You know, can I be an executive producer on the film? And we both broke down in tears. It was just, I mean, that was a point where we really were in the depths of, you know, film production is like a roller coaster. We were just so ready to, you know, figure out another way. And she came and saved us, really. It was amazing. You've brought the film to the London Indian Film Festival. What kind of reaction have you had here? Um, well, I think uh, the, the Desi diaspora community has really embraced the film in a wonderful way, which is um, a great relief to me uh, because I'm American, but I have a Desi heart because my stepfather was Desi and I love the culture and I love India. And making a film about this dire issue, I was really not sure how uh, the film would be received by the Indian community and they've really um, they've really embraced it in a huge way and it's been phenomenal um, because I think with their support we can really use this film as a vehicle for change in India and other countries. I, I hope we can actually use it as a vehicle for change in the US as well. We have a lot of work to do on this issue globally everywhere. Get out of here.